Today we're gonna show you some of the best cheap eats in the village, an area that is absolutely well known for having some of the best budget bites in New York City. And we've got a special guest today, a rapper and a producer from New York. What up, Uncle Minasa here. Really, I consider myself raised in Manhattan, been coming out here for 20 years. Right. I know a thing or two about some cheap eats out here, so. You hungry? Starving. Let's do this, let's, <laughs> let's do, do this. It. Get the uh, the falafel pita, the both the uh, harissa and the green. Yes. That's it. Just three of those, yeah. Right here. Thank you so much. Good. All right. Good. Right. I had a friend of mine say that this is the absolute best falafel in New York City. Eight dollars ninety-five cents. Barely qualifies as cheap eats. We're keeping it under ten dollars. Two different types of chickpea, and there's a lot going on in here. I, I think this is going to be really, really tasty. Let's do it. Let's try this. Mmm, it's fantastic. I like how there's the different color. You see the two different color the chickpeas. Right there. We got a mix of the falafels here. We got the harissa, which is orange, and then the more common one in New York, the green, as you can see right there. So it's up to you. You can get either or. We decided to do both to really compare the flavors. Having this harissa for the first time, I would probably get a full falafel of that from here the next time I go, because yeah. I do like that spice. I've never had a like a a spicy falafel, you know, without just putting hot sauce on it. Like, yeah, this is exactly. cool to have, to have a spicy falafel like this. All we do is eat meat on this channel. So to show you something that I would actually consider on the healthier side, yeah. also fun healthy and I guess relatively cheap. Relatively cheap for this area. Yeah. You know, if you really want to cut it in half. You, you've been involved in the hip hop industry for, you said over 20 years now. How are things changing? New York City at the moment. Things have changed a lot. One of the things that I notice on uh, when I walk around Manhattan, especially this area, because I had a lot of my hip-hop moments here in the village. A lot of venues are gone. Um, a lot of people have changed, you know what I mean? Like, people would get up in Washington Square and, and out at 6th Avenue where Fat Beach used to be. These were epic places where people would gather and freestyle and cypher and, and talk about hip-hop and, and do that thing age 16 to 25 and beyond, like I would come out here and shop for records and get cheap eats. Back in the, back in the days when Pluck You was still a thing. I have not seen McDougal Street here in Greenwich Village this crowded in over a year. What a positive sign for the reopening. Yeah, it's not just one. One classic sandwich. Yeah. One classic yeah. You want a spicy, medium, or not spicy? Medium. medium. This is how we make you guys hungry. We, we do this intentionally. <laughs> Five bucks. I'm shocked they haven't raised their prices yeah. over the years. You? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's word of mouth advertising. It's gotta be. Easily one of the most famous places on McDougal Street, which was hopping. Uh, I'm happy to see the village coming back to life. We're in the heart of Greenwich Village. Let's try, you ever tried this before? I have not tried this before. This one's my call, so we'll yeah. see if he likes it. Hmm. Tangy. Tangy. It's just like I remember tangy it. Than I thought, yeah. Yeah. It's really sweet. Two different types of pork. And then we're really tasting those pickled carrots. I like the, the hard roll a lot too. You know, is this the best bon mi sandwich in New York that I've had? No. Is it one of the best deals for the village? Heck yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> should bring her on the video. <laughs> Do you think that New York has shaped rappers that have come out of here? Is there something different about a rapper out of New York that you wouldn't find from, I don't know, LA or anywhere else? Because hip hop is from here, there's a certain respect for hip hop that I think is true anywhere, no matter where you're from. But in New York, it's, um, it's, it's really embedded in you. You know, you don't have to like go out of your way to have respect for hip hop. It's part of who you are growing up here. Like you just, you, you have that. If you want to see where the birthplace of hip hop was, check out our Bronx video. We actually covered it. To say of all the neighborhoods in New York City, the village has by far taken the most advantage of outdoor seating. It's really something else around here. I'll, I'll do one of the Oreo rings. All right. Uh, do you want to do half a dozen or in a bag? No, just because of one. Thank you. Oh, you want a bag? Does yeah, anyone ever just order one, or it's always half a dozen? Say this place looks so cool. It's like we're in our own little donut fantasy world. The original Donut Pub on 14th is like authentically old school New York. They did not have the famed 
red velvet glaze today. You got Brooklyn cream. I, I did Oreo. I mean, I'm, not, I'm getting a little fancy here, but I, I <laughs> love cookies and cream ice cream, so I went with this. Donut Pub is like, if you're from the 80s, and you remember what Dunkin' Donuts used to be like when they made donuts, <laughs> this is what, what Donut Pub is. Everything is fresh. All they do here is donuts. The coffee and everything else is kind of secondary. It's about the donut. I've never had a donut with little pieces of Oreo on top before. <laughs> it's more something I think of with ice cream, but it works perfectly for me. I mean, I love this. See how frothy that is? That's special right there. Wow. That's low key. $2.50, a little, little donut heaven here. And I like what you said. A place that specializes in the donut, not the coffee, not the other stuff. Yeah. And we're the only ones even sitting here. Like, just we show them, like, look at this little counter here. I like that setup. Super clean. It's almost like this place is like a tribute to the original. So, like, I used to go to the original all the time. I actually shot part of a video on the old Donut Pub. And I think it's great that we're eating uh, dessert, dessert in right the middle. We're eating, yeah, dessert before like two more dinners coming up. I don't know how I do this sometimes. It's a really <laughs> tough job. It's a really tough job. Like, I, I, I feel for you, man. I feel, you know, we're. We're all, we're all hoping that you pull through this. We're hoping. 50-50. <laughs> You know what's funny? I walked by this place like a hundred times. <laughs> I never actually ordered here in like 10 years. This is, this is a spot for the, the rando less than $10 sandwich. This is, this is good stuff. There go. It's just literally a hole in the wall. Yeah, I mean, it actually is. It's just a hole like in the wall right here on this street. My favorite is this chicken schnitzel. Oh which is really kind of just a chicken cutlet. You can see what the full sandwich looks like. Yes, yeah, you know, we, we split it in split half, yeah. Pretty gigantic for nine bucks. Um, you could save half and eat the other half. I get this for lunch a lot. Chipotle mayo, well, you know, it's basic. It's basic, but it's delicious basic. And I, I'm just impressed by the amount of chicken you get. And I thought they'd be skimping us here, but no. It's a decent amount of chicken if you consider it 450 each. You've tried it, never tried this. Let's see what, let's see what it's all about. Here we Take got first bite. Really solid. I like the spicy chipotle kind of mayo, pepper. Yeah, yeah. Adds a little kick to it. Just a really well put together sandwich. The breading has like a layer of flavor too. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what kind of like, you know, breadcrumbs they're using or if they're adding some more spice, but it's yeah. definitely something else going on in the breadcrumb itself. There's something there. I would say, if, if, especially if you live in the area and you want a quick sandwich to go, even something to maybe split with a roommate or significant yeah. other. This is a lot. I don't know how we're still eating as much. <laughs> but we did a lot of walking. That's a key we in New York. Of, well, you, gotta, yeah. you gotta get your steps in, man. You get your steps in, you can eat like this all you want. I actually have a new album uh, coming out. It's called Only Child. It'll be out on August 6th. A couple singles are out right now. You can go to Spotify and check them out. Guys, check out Nassau's links in the description and tell me in the comments which one of these cheap eat spots you most want to visit. Check out our other food playlist, link right here. Hope you enjoyed watching. Till next time.